hi everybody welcome to abundant gains if you're new to my channel welcome my name is laura and i am a 23 year old zero based budgeter and if you enjoy watching cash envelope stuffing sinking fund updates and budget with me videos then please do consider subscribing and join my abundant family today we are going to be cash stuffing my second paycheck of may and that is going to be in the total of $1,086. So let's dive right into it. I do not have a crystal to show you guys. All of my stuff is still in my storage unit, but um, we're just going to have to go without today for today's video, unfortunately. Try to find maybe something else that I could share, but I don't really have anything here um, at my parents' house. So as you can see here, here are my cash envelopes, my sinking funds and my mini envelopes and then my savings challenge so my mini envelopes is getting 280 this check and here are the denominations for that and my cash envelopes are for my cash binder it's also going to get 280 and that was not done on purpose <laughs> and then my sinking funds is going to get 366 which is right here and and this is what's going into that right here and then of course my savings challenge is 160 dollars because in my last video i scratched off 75 and 85 so in total that's 1086 and i'm going to go ahead and prop this here to the side where i can see it so this is my bank withdrawal envelope that i just purchased from pink x budgets and i used it today when i went to the bank and then this is the cash slip so I got three 100s, 1050s, 820s, 910s, 75s, and one $1 bill, which brings us to 1086 And this is also from Pink X Budgets. I had bought this first before I bought this uh, bank slip. So this one also has a cash breakdown in the back. But, I mean, I could use this, but I feel like when I put this in my purse, the purse might kind of like smear it and I don't want that to get in the, on the inside of my purse either. So I think personally, I'm just gonna keep using this cash slip that I can just put in here and I don't really care if it smudges in there. But yeah, so it's really cool, it's really pretty. It is hole punch, so if I want to put this in a binder, I could if I wanted to. So let's grab this money. And please let me know down below in the comments how everyone's been doing. I have a whole new group of following since I did have a video on TikTok go viral a few days ago. So welcome to any of my new uh, subscribers and I really hope that my videos help you guys understand my my method <laughs> and um, a lot of you have a lot of questions on how I, how I start or how to do everything and my best advice is just to soak up whatever you can from other cash budgeters out there we all have different ways of doing it and this is my way and i learned from pink x budget pretty much everything i just did whatever she did <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie just with a smaller budget of course because when i came across her channel i was on a low income we're going to go ahead and start with my mini envelopes so I have money left over in all of my envelopes and I'm very happy about that. So let's start with eating out. So I'm gonna put these in order. And my buffer money. I'm gonna set my buffer money to the side for right now. But for eating out, let's see how much we have in here. So we have five, 10, 11, 12, $13 which is really good. Groceries, I know I have quite a bit in here. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Spending. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And toiletries. I have 10, 20, 21, 22. I will count this up when I put it in my invest because that is where, that is how I fund my invest envelope. I fund it by whatever money I have left over in my mini envelopes. 
And so all of this will go towards invest. And someone must have just gotten home. Yes, so this is a really good chunk that is going into invest. It's been a while since I've been able to put aside a good amount towards that. So I'm gonna place this behind my $100 bills. Now that two weeks have gone by and I've been able to use up what I did and gave it enough time for me to use it, I'm going to reset what I normally put in here. So eating out typically gets 60. So in my last video, I put in the difference because I had just gotten paid a few days before and it would have been silly to take out all that money and put it in invest when I haven't had really any time to spend it. So now it's back to the normal uh, routine of putting in here everything that, um, that it typically gets. So 60 for eating out, toiletries is 50. And of course, now that I'm staying back with my parents, I do not need to put as much into eating out. Spending is getting 50 as well. Well, yeah. <laughs> Spending is getting 50. And groceries is getting 120. I'll most likely always have something left in groceries because my parents cook here and I do buy myself a few things here and there like like muscle milk and stuff like that but and like fruit but it's not a lot unless I really want to make like make a meal at home for some for them or just for myself then I'll go and buy those groceries if they're not already here at the house and most of the time it already is so for my buffer money I wanted to keep whatever I have in here because I've barely used it I had 65 and I have 40 left so I only used $25 of that buffer money so I'm gonna keep this 40 in here because I most likely won't really need to spend much and then in my next check I'll go ahead and um, put some buffer money aside but I think $40 will be good now that I kind of got an idea of how much I had left over I had quite a bit so I may not have to use buffer uh, since I didn't use all of my spending which normally I do and normally I spend all of my eating out so I think I'm gonna be safe with my buffer and again buffer money just means just in case money so whenever I run out of something in my other envelopes or even in my binder I can pull out from here as a last minute resort and that total was 280 and now onto my cash binder my binder is also 280 so just a quick explanation of my cash binder this is of course just not necessarily any savings this is just money to have so that i so that i have it when i'm ready to spend it so of course i'm not going to go shopping every single day and i'm not going to spend gas every single day which comes out of car maintenance but when i do need to do certain things i have the envelopes to take it from but the answer is no so for my mini envelopes i do use all of that cash when i go out so if i know i'm about to go eat out i'll grab whatever i feel i'm going to need from eating out and i'll put that in my purse and i'll use that cash for my cash binder, I'm not doing that anymore. I used to do that. I used to take the cash that I knew I was going to be using and take it with me and wherever I go. But now that I have a credit card, I'm using my credit card to purchase any items that I would normally take out from this binder. Only this binder. Eating out and groceries and all of that stuff is going to be used in cash from my mini envelopes like I always do. And my cash binder, now that I have a credit card, I feel like just so that this is an easier transition into using my credit card and not going over budget or anything, I know how much money I have in here and I can just swipe my card for whatever reason, like for gas, take out $40 from here and then pay that back into my account. I am going to do a cash unstuffing video for my cash binder where you will see everything that I've spent for my credit card and I will be taking that money out and then I'm going to be taking that to the bank. So I'm most likely going to film that video soon after this because I want to take this money back to the bank Monday and I'm filming things, filming this on a Saturday and I'm probably going to post this tomorrow on Sunday. So that's going to be coming soon so that you kind of understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, so that rant is over and Beauty is going to give 50. 
and I just got my nails done and I did pay out of beauty and these are my new nails I just got them done today and a family friend of mine did them she did an awesome job I love them my favorite gem is this little skull right here <laughs> and the snake it's my favorite color so y'all already know I'm gonna be rocking these for a minute so beauty has 50 70 90 110 and 111 My car payment is going to get 20 and this is not a car payment towards my car loan. It's just an envelope I created to pay extra towards my car loan. I just called it car payment because I didn't know what else to call it. And every four months I deposit this back into the bank and whatever amount is in here that is what I pay towards my car loan just to help pay off my car faster and lower that interest. And at the end of April I paid 500 and then car maintenance is going to get 85 50 70 i'm going to get my oil my oil changed this week in a few days and yeah so that's what all of this comes comes out of so that's how i fund for things like that for my car so car maintenance i have one two three four five twenty forty sixty eighty ninety six ten twenty twenty five thirty thirty five so I have 635, which is crazy. I almost have a thousand dollars in here. That's what that sounds like to me. And that would be awesome. That's not a goal of mine, but if I had a thousand dollars for car maintenance, I would feel very pleased with that. And then clothing is going to get 10. So I have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 109 in clothing. My Best Buy credit card is going to get 80. And this is going to go to the bank ASAP. 50, 70, and 80. So, so far towards my credit card, I am paying 50, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So 165 and the credit card is what I used to purchase my Surface Pro and I'm paying back that balance which is a thousand no 950 well originally like a little less than that but I got some warranty on it so it took it up a bit family time is getting 20 so I have 20 40 60 85 86 and 87 And the fun is going to get 10. So I have 80, 50, 70, and 80 dollars. I went to a club last night and I thought I would have to pay my normal 20 dollars that I do for the entrance fee but I guess because it was Friday night it was free so I had grabbed the 20 and I had it on me and then I didn't have to use it <laughs> so that was nice I put that back in there this morning and then gifts is going to get five so gifts I have 100 150 55 60 and 65 so I did buy my mom some perfume for Mother's Day and of course a card and flowers and she loved it and then of course invest is going to get the money left over I still have my five dollars in here I haven't taken it to the bank let's see I have let's see how much it was in total before I add the five dollars so 10 20 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 61 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 70 71 72 73 and 74 so that is what I'm adding in here aside from my five so that's 79 dollars going into invest And that is amazing and I'll probably take this to the bank as well when I take everything else back so that is all for this binder we're going to cash stuff my high priority binder this is a part of my sinking funds and a sinking funds is pretty much just 
a fancy term for saying savings but when you have multiple categories that you're saving up for you can say sinking funds um and at least that's what i've picked up on from the dave ramsey cash envelope method so that's kind of the best way i like to describe that but sinking funds is just another word for savings I have two sinking fund binders. This one is my high priority one, and then my other binder is my low priority, but they're both savings. And I don't pull from any of them unless I have to, or unless it's time to. Like for Christmas, once Christmas comes around, I'll take what I have out for Christmas. Or if I have an emergency, I'll take what I have to take out of emergency, and so on. So emergency is going to get 10. And I'm actually going to count the amount in this video, because like I said, every, second paycheck from now on i'm going to be counting now i do count my money off camera but i just don't every video of course i have to keep track of what's in there so i have 1000 and this is a 1k slip placeholder just means that i have a thousand dollars in the bank and my savings account so 1000 100 150 170 190 210 230 240 250 260 65 70 so I have 1270 in emergency. My goal was a thousand and now that I've reached a thousand I just put in little by little because it's not such a big priority anymore but it still needs to be getting cash stuffed. Medical is going to get 10 and I've also reached my goal in here which was uh, $500. So in medical, I have 1,000, 1, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 30, and 35. So 1235 in medical. And my savings, it's going to get 71. So 50, 70, and 1. So I have 2,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 650, 670, 690, 91, 92, and 93. So I have 2693. I'm almost at my $3,000 goal. And I am going to pull from this when I do my cash on stuffing for some things that I've purchased for my trip. I'm not sure if it's going to come out of savings or vacation, probably vacation or possibly savings. And then taxes is going to get five. So five for taxes. And I have 100, 200, 3, 350, 370, 390, 410, 420, and 425. All right, and that is all for my high, prior high priority sinking funds binder. And now let's get into my low priority binder and we're starting with Black Friday and Black Friday is going to get five dollars so that is going to be a new total of one two three three twenty three forty three forty five 345 and 350 for Black Friday Tattoos is getting 10. So I now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So 565 in tattoos. I finally figured out what I wanted to get done. I hope that it's like as cute as I envision it. It's going to be on my ankle. And then Christmas is going to get 5. So it has 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, 10, 15. So 315 in Christmas. And Black Friday tattoos and Christmas are not a high priority in this binder. So like they don't really get as much as my other ones, but they still get a little something just so that it can still grow over time. <clears throat> and then Future Home is getting 100. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4,000, 1, 150, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 215, 220, and 221. So I have 42, 
21 in future home and now that i live with my parents i do pay them rent and rent comes out of future home and mystery oh mystery isn't going to get anything vacation is getting 150 and that's gonna be one and 150 okay so in vacation i have four thousand one two three four five six seven eight nine a thousand so i did reach a thousand dollars in here so i'm going to swap this out with a 1k slip and here we have them so i now have finally reached my five thousand dollar goal and i'm so so happy about that i'm gonna put this to the side I'm so excited because my trip is next week, the trip that I keep telling you guys about <laughs> to Las Vegas. It's next week in a few days and I finally reached $5,000. So 5,000, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, and 48. So I now have 5,048 in vacation. That is so amazing. I'm so happy since I did pull money out of here for my plane ticket my uh concert tickets and my rental hotel everything i pulled it out from vacation so i could have reached a thousand or i could have reached five thousand like i don't know a month or two ago but i had to get that trip and i really wanted to go so i was like you know what i'm gonna just gonna just gonna reach that goal a little later down the line and that's okay and i finally reached it i'm very happy about that and then for my platinum challenge, we have a total of 160 and that's 75 and 85 dollars right here that I scratched off in my last video. So we're gonna grab 50, 70, and 5, and then 85, so 50, 70, oops. 85 so i haven't counted my platinum challenge in a while and i have 1000 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 20 40 60 88 20 40 60 89 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, and 65. So I have 1965 in my platinum challenge. So I'm a few dollars away from another thousand. And I'll be halfway to my goal, which is four thousand dollars. And in this video, instead of scratching off two, I'm just going to scratch off one because I'm going back to my low income and I need to change up a few things so that I can still be able to do everything else. So let me go ahead and scratch off one diamond. And I think I'm going to scratch off this middle one right here. So I got $80. And that is all for this binder as well. And this $1,000 is going back to the bank this is going to go into my savings account and now time to stuff my coins i have a ton of coins i will say that so i don't even know how i ended up having so many coins here but i also have a whole handful of coins to the side that a friend of mine gave me because they know that i like to put them in my coin jar so they just gave me a bunch of coins i'm gonna fast forward this y'all already know and i'm gonna put all these coins in here y'all wish me luck Okay, so I now have $97.62 in my coin jar. That was a whole lot of coins, and I'm almost at 100. I thought that I was going to make it to 100 with what I just put in there, but I'm really close. I'm less than $3 away. So let's see what today's ending message is going to be. I'm going to give these a shuffle. I haven't shuffled these in a while. I feel like I have more in here, but maybe not. 
I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. That was kind of a rough shuffle right there. It's just these cards are so bulky. But what is the message that my beautiful audience needs to hear today? And today, the ending message is, I am energized by my passion. A lot of times, we are going into something that we don't want to do or that we don't like to do. And a lot of times, it's because we have to and we don't have another choice, right? I feel that we need to create more space and time, if, if possible, to focus on our passions and focus on the things that we really do want to do in our lives because we only live once. Whether you feel like it is too late now to start a passion of yours, we have so much power. We have so much power within us. You know, if it's for a money reason, which I'm sure for most of us it is, I completely understand that. So my message would be, and in that regards to do not forget it do not forget that passion do not let it go keep holding on to that and one day when the time is right you will chase and pursue that passion and i really hope that all of us do eventually get to that point that is what i will leave you guys with and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for stopping by and i hope that this video has helped some of you out there that are really curious as to how cash stuffing works and thank you guys so much for supporting me and all of the kind words and loving words that you guys give me daily on my channel on all my platforms and uh, with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video bye